So that's the other part when it comes to being an entrepreneur is you got to have a lot of patience and a lot of determination to stick with your guns and make little slight adjustments and not kind of waver from it because... Bro, check this out. Bro, jobs is slavery. I know this now. I want to I wanna sit up here and say this right now. If you are working a job, no matter how much money you make per hour, if you work in a job, that is slavery, bro. It's slavery in plain sight. Jobs are stopping you from being the best that you could possibly be. Jo like, who the fuck want to retire at age 67? Like, my nigga, why well, I could retire at 30? My nigga, I could, I, I could have been working on my shit at age 15 and been able to retire at 30. Young entrepreneurs can retire at 30, 35. We don't have to work for 30 more years and then retire. Jobs is made for you to live. Bro, think about the mindset that you have. You can't live. People, I can't do anything without a job. I can't do this without a job. I can't do that without a job. A job is slavery. Let's go. Mm. I can't trust niggas with the do rag without the tie around first, man. I can't trust niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's well, why. Lead, okay. lead, lead us off, folks. Come on, man. All right. What I would say about that is, I I I agree with everything he's saying. I don't even think it's a job. I think it's the society we set up in is we we are slave to the money. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, um, Thank you for saying we're we, we're a slave <laughs> to the money, yo. Because whether you got a job or not, you still gotta figure out a way to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Even whether you got a job or not, you still gotta pay taxes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I agree with what he's saying and the sentiment with it, but I just think it's not just specific to just having a job. I think it's a is it's the capitalistic society and you just got to figure out how to maneuver to get the things that you want and put yourself in the best position um he talked about uh retiring at age 60 and things like that right i would say just to go into some more financial tips um you can retire way before that like if you know how to if you know what to do with your money how to invest your money properly uh how to budget Live below your means. That's something we have a hard time doing in society now. We get a pay raise. We get we start making more money. We want to increase the way we live, which increases our bills and everything. Um, it's a it's a it's just a continuous rat race. But if you know how to be disciplined, live below your means, save your money, invest your money, and also um, really just stay focused on what your purpose is. You if you if you started working at fifteen. It's a good chance you could retire at age 30, 35, if you know what to do with your money, like far as putting it in the right uh, investment vehicles. If you stay with your parents instead of going out and getting an apartment, you yeah. stay with your parents, save up and, and things like that. I'm always team entrepreneur, but I, I, when it comes to that slave thing, we all on that same we all on that same page. I just believe being an entrepreneur grants you a little bit more freedom and flexibility but with that freedom comes a lot more responsibility i've been talking to these guys behind the scenes uh about the the challenges of being a full-time entrepreneur and the thing is you just can't never you can't never take your foot off the gas when it comes to being an entrepreneur because the moment you take your foot off the gas and this is all you got this is your bread and butter man you got to start back over again it's a game of momentum so I would say because I, I I'll come back around and, and add some more stuff uh, <laughs> later on because I want the fellas to talk. But the main thing is I want to say, yo, we all a slave to the money. Like we all trying to figure out how to make it and things like that. Um, but even if you work a job, you don't gotta wait till you sixty. You just gotta do the right things with your money, be disciplined, and um, and you could you could put yourself in a better position. And it's also real quick, just because you become an entrepreneur. 
is not guaranteed you're going to have success. You don't know when the success is going to happen. You don't know. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You don't know. I've been doing this for uh, coming up on my third year in December, just working for myself. And I've been making it. I've been doing what, you know, for me, I feel like I've been doing well. But I'm not where I thought I was going to be in three mm-hmm. years with that. And it's all but it's all because of me. I ain't blaming nobody. But the thing is, you never know when it's going to pop off for you. Shine. shine. Get, Get your, your shine, shine on. on. Get your shine on, shout it. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, I put this on. I put it on everywhere. Huh. Booty yeah. cheeks, <laughs> kneecaps, underarms. I got the vanilla right here. Usually, hey, I got the um, I got the lavender ones. I, it, it helped me smell, sleep good. Cause I be sleeping like this, and yeah. I can smell it off my hands. I'm trying to tell you, feeling good. Y'all better rock with this. Right. It's that vanilla. Yeah. Listen, man, we ain't being ashy no more. Mm-hmm. Hygiene. Yeah. Hygiene is important. Mm-hmm. You need to get your shine. It's hydrating. Mm-hmm. It's light. It lasts all day. You don't gotta use a lot, and it's good from face to foot. Historically, I don't really use lotion or nothing like that because I'm like in a hybrid, light skin, in between dark skin, motherfuckers. So coming, coming back from vacation, coming back from vacation, I'm a little sunburnt, so I needed something to get me my skin back right because I'm feeling like a reptile right now. So I'm gonna get this baby going on when I get home. Oh, hey, look, you gotta shine on everybody. Shine this on. is, hey, look, I got like four cases. I got a bunch of cases. And I got the big jaw too. That's yeah. old school. Y'all don't even know about that. He don't even got those no more. But look, I'm telling y'all, this shine is amazing. Help with eczema, you know, clear your skin up, all of that great stuff. So you don't want to miss out on this shine, man. Make sure y'all go get y'all a little bottle of this. All natural ingredients. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Where they can find it? So you can find this at shinecareproducts.com. Let them know that we sent you. Use the code FMF20. Get you a discount. Got to. So that's the other part when it comes to being an entrepreneur is you got to have a lot of patience and a lot of determination to stick with your guns and make little slight adjustments and not kind of waver from it because you you don't know if you're going to pop next next year, next month, five years, 10 years. You just got to figure out a way to keep maintaining until you get to where you want to go. That was a little long winded, but I, I like this topic, though. Yeah. yeah. No, I think. I think, bro, being a captain, obvious. We, we. I think people our age, especially, know like the job is not the end goal, but you need to start somewhere. You need to establish the foundation. Like most people, to start a business, most of the times you need to have capital, which is money, and that shit don't come out of thin air unless you, one of these trust fund babies, or you one of these um, young kids that learn trading real early, or one of these young YouTube or streamers that just blow up because they popular. You know react getting people to react to their reacting to toys and whatnot like unless they on the internet making their money off the internet you're not just going into an entrepreneurial venture with just your hopes and dreams most of the time you got to start somewhere so i think people our age know that you have to get that foundation you got to save up some money and sometimes going to going the job route is the way you got to do that you got to do what you don't want to do to get where you want to be and <coughs> I don't. I think we know jobs are slavery, but if you got the right mindset behind it, you can make it work for you in your favor and eventually get to that entrepreneurial route. Or you can do both at the same time: have money making, have have passive income making you money outside of the job, so you can get to that retirement early. But that fifteen to to thirty, you know, starting working at fifteen and retiring at thirty, that's probably less than half a percent of people, you know. And, and it's a consumer society. If everybody was an entrepreneur, nobody would be rich because nobody would be buying your shit because they're trying to get you to buy their shit. So, I know. think that's a mentality too because not every entrepreneur is selling the same thing. And we need what other people provide. I mean, it was entrepreneurs that created the jobs that we're working at now. You know what I mean? So, I think jobs are essential. I think jobs are essential, um, but it is a mentality. I think it's more of a slavery mentality. And, and I definitely know this is where, uh, if y'all go backtrack to uh, the episode we did about hard work, where my mentality was hard work does not pay off because you're getting tra- at a job, what's not taught is you're trading your time. So they're going to pay you. Most of the jobs are entry level. They're going to t- they're going to pay you for uh, the same amount, whether you're working hard 
or if you're just mm-hmm. getting by. You know what I'm saying? Because I've always outworked everybody in the job. And I rarely got promoted until I started learning more about communication, networking, showing up, and doing stuff off of the clock to show the type of characteristics to stand out just to get the approval of somebody else. Like, that's what you're doing to, ri- to rise up in, the, in a company is getting approval from the person who has the ability to push the button, not how hard you work. <laughs> Are you still here? You ain't subscribed yet? Hit that button, my man. Hit that button and subscribe. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh And stuff like that. I think we need to have... I love what Paul said because we need to have further discussion in that direction about not just starting a job or just pushing a kid out the house just because they turn 18. You're an adult now. Go figure out life. I think we need more structure in that area. Definitely. Um, I think we need to support one another more. Uh, I think uh, we need more money discussions such as this so we could be more money conscious about what to do with money and not just uh, because even if you're at a good job, if you ask me what a good job is, recently what I've been saying is a good job is one that pays you well enough to forget your dreams. (laughs) That's what a good job is. I like that. It pays you well enough to forget all of the things that you aspire to that you think of that like get you get you out of the bed now you're in the day-to-day right of just getting through and if you're in a job place more than likely you're gonna hear everybody the 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 common common the common community excuse me the common communication is complaining (laughs) Mm -hmm. the common communication is complaining so it's going to, even if you're not a complainer, even if you're not included in a conversation, you're not always going to be able to get away from it. So it's still going to, you're still going to absorb that even in the slightest bit and it's going to affect you whether you acknowledge it or not. So it's still going to do something to your mentality. And then what, you're, what easily happens is y'all, it, is what you'll wind up in that, check to check month, you know, uh, cover expenses uh, Mm -hmm. and look forward to a day of a vacation instead of all of what you was thinking about when you was like, I need to make money. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You know, like you don't start off with, most of the time you don't start off with responsibility that you need to put money towards. No, you start off thinking I need to make money for what I want. And then once you get some of what you want, it usually comes with like a monthly payment. Now I got responsibility. <laughs> I want my own place. Well, you know, I need my own transportation. Well, I need a cell phone. Well, those are monthly costs. You know, those are monthly expenses. You know what I mean? So that's what you're, you know, you have a, a vision, a goal to go for. But yeah, I would agree. It, it is. uh it is a part of the modern slavery. Uh, the capitalist society is playing on that, and we glow. That's that's why I always be like, money ain't everything. Like money is important, but money ain't everything, um, because you can get lost just chasing money and looking at numbers. Because numbers are infinite, you'll never have enough. You know what I mean? So you got to focus on why you at that job. What you got to do <clears throat> if you don't truly like that job? If it's not fulfilling for you, it's not, it's not, it's not hitting on your purpose. Then either you are gonna have to get up out of there because I know, I know people who would switch up the job to something that's more meaningful to them and take the pay cut. You know what I'm saying? But life is more enjoyable now. You're enjoying work instead of stress and the mundane day to day and I can't stand to be here, I can't wait to get home or when you get home you got other problems that you got to deal with now you just like I only like life, like what is life? You get lost man, just working <laughs> if you're not focused mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So yeah we got to work on your mentality and remember why you even at that job and then do some assessments like is is this really working for me 
because you there's plenty of jobs out there there's plenty of uh knowledge out there you can teach yourself you can learn stuff you can get with coaches hello you can learn so many different things to boost yourself uh to get better jobs so i'm not i'm not limiting in that a lot of these jobs if you was to check their website they have resources they have courses they have leadership courses and stuff and if you do that it'll show like okay this person is doing something different than the 98 percent people here so you can stand out and do things differently and take those credentials and put them in other places boost your resume learn a skill you know what i'm saying learn another language that automatically puts you in a different tax bracket like learn stuff bro you know you can do stuff to improve the job setting uh and i know this personally because in that same environment where everybody's complaining i'm mr mindset uh they tried to break me and i winded up breaking the the whole environment like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like got yeah, everybody up in there laughing and smiling now, huh? yes you know, like you can't come to me with the complaints you know what i mean like i don't want to hear the complaints i want to hear either the solution or something good and we all in here we all don't like it no oh, well let's get it done the quicker we get it done we can get up out of here and get back to what we actually want so it could be uh I, i'm a, a mindset it's a mindset the mentality of it being a slavery uh because no one is holding you in chains making you stay at a job but the chain is you're gonna have to have a job if you're not making some type of money <laughs> on your own. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. Hey, G, what you got, man? What's your thoughts, man? Right, so that nigga eating this shit. A, um, Get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. it's um, it's definitely a um. I would say yes and no to the um yo what's good everybody it's the fmf mob right here yes, we got sir. the finance we got the mindset we got the fitness yeah, and we want to shout out the lab uh this place is uh owned by james and this guy man he opened up this spot to us it's an amazing place man it got the exposed brick you can kind of look in there and see a little bit you got the dj equipment everything you need yeah. to get your photograph needs podcast yeah. Uh, anything you can think of, man. Yeah, they they spot, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do the fitness. They're the spot, yeah. recreational All type spot. It's a great location right here in Richmond in the Churchill area yep. for you to be able to come together, put your parties, assemble all that type of stuff together, and just come and check it out. Plus, it's black owned. Absolutely. Yes. Black yes. owned. So, support your people. We definitely, FMF, support the lab. We love the lab. Yes. All right. I'll take care. To the gentleman that was ex was uh, explaining it. I am explaining it. I'm sorry. Um, yes, in a sense that when you really think about a job, um, when you break it down, it's just over broke. Yep. <laughs> and I, so I, I've always believed it, and that's why I found I try to find a way to get myself up out of it. Mm -hmm. But on the, uh, as far as the negative side, I get to the positives. Of course, there's always positives to a lot of things, but the negative side is. For you wanting to live your life the way you want it to be is it's a little bit hard when you have a job. You have to have your hair, for the most part, you have to have your hair a certain way. You have to wear a certain type of clothes. You have to be there at a certain time. You have to talk a certain way. You got to mm -hmm. gotta conduct yourself in a certain way where it's very similar to what slavery might be because you're being controlled by somebody else, which is whether a manager or a company, you're being controlled. So in that sense, that is a part of, I think, where he's coming from is like slavery, and you're being um, you're being minimized to what your worth is for an hour or wherever it is a salary or forty that hours a week. Part. That that's, part, they do not determine my value. Yeah, they do so not determine my value. So yeah, when you ahead. so basically it's like you get you sign up, you make an eight, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars an hour. What you're what you're saying to me is. Your time, my hard work, my 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 blood, my air, whatever I'm doing for this job right now for that hour is only worth that twenty dollars of my life, mm -hmm. which life is so short. In that sense, when you break it down, I can understand where he's coming from, and that's <coughs> the pain that I didn't like when I had a job. 
It was mm. like I couldn't I couldn't take the vacations I wanted to with my family. I couldn't spend time with my lady when I wanted to. I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that. And I had to ask for permission as a grown man to enjoy my one and only life that I'm able to get. <laughs> in that sense, it's a it's a part of slavery. I ain't going to hold you. And I understand yeah. why he, he says that way. But on a positive side, jobs can be can help with some people with structure. I mean, being yeah. on time. Um, yeah. Having a way where you can have your um, paycheck all that, you get money at once because what people don't understand, like what Paul said, when you that structure of working for yourself, you're getting money in mm-hmm. sometimes so quick that you don't even know how it to budget be, it because it can be mm-hmm. you know, a handicap. You get it money be where, yeah, it can be inconsistent. You can get to a point where you get so much at one point in a day, you make a thousand, and then in two weeks later, you ain't got no money because you spent it so quick and you don't know when that next dollar is going to come. So I can understand the structure of a job and being able to have the 401ks and being able to have some sort of stability in your life where you know every two weeks or every month or first of the fancy or wherever you're getting that paycheck that is consistent. So mm-hmm. in that sense, I can't always say it's a bad thing because it can be a positive for some people, but it's on the person, it's on how you want to live your life. And hey, you're going to pick either one. You want to be a semi-slave or you want to be able to us uh, be a uh, full-time slave to your entrepreneur dreams that's why i say so jobs are yeah, essential one. that's why i say jobs are essential because most of those things is like you said uh is shaping you up for opportunity like i learned a lot of i learned a lot of how <clears throat> excuse me i learned a lot of how i would want my company to be ran and what is needed by going to a job and seeing what's not there um also uh all of the flaw in all of the management i would come across like y'all hiring people that y'all like as i mentioned like somebody that you in cahoots with versus somebody who's actually qualified what are the qualifications for management i learned the difference between a boss slash manager and a leader most managers are not leaders you know what i mean i'd rather have leaders you know um i learned so much just being at a job plus uh you do get it's it's security it is security because you're like okay i'm getting x amount if you put in x amount of time for this amount of money then this is what i'm going to be getting on this day you know that so you could plan you can uh you can invest you can do you can move strategically knowing what's coming in based on the result of what you're what you're working you know what I'm saying what your work is um i learned work ethic i learned work ethic outside of a job but it, uh, the the work ethic had to be exuded at the job so i realized that my work ethic was very much different than those around me not to be in comparison but i love my own work ethic i love my own drive and it just solidified the fact that i have that type of drive that i am ambitious enough to start my own like let me go ahead and bet on myself if i got it here and they don't see it it's not for them to see it i'm gonna go ahead and bet on myself you know what i mean and it's a smart play. It's a strategic play. I'm throat dry. <laughs> it's a strategic play to use the job for the leverage, as Keith was speaking on earlier. He said most of us don't start with no type of money. Um, use the job for some leverage. Yeah, I ain't catch it. I don't, I don't know what y'all laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> use the job for some type of leverage uh, to do the things that you want you know um but i will say this though you can use other people money like read rich dad poor dad again you can use other people money to invest in smart things that can bring some type of return um you don't have to start off with money and your own money don't have to be the money that you use to make money (laughs) yeah that's a good point trey and um Real quick, um, I know in a in a couple of minutes we're gonna get ready to go to the next topic. But I want to shout out the uh, Sean Moore. He responded. Uh, I, I'm assuming this is in response to the worst job you ever had washing dishes at a restaurant. So I wanted to shout out Sean for uh, for bringing that up. But uh, I know G about to get the next video and everything loaded up. But we're like, what's some of y'all final thoughts about this uh, subject, man? 
<laughs> Niggas childish. <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, in the sense of what Trey was saying, like job is some sense of security, but there's no such thing as job security. Like that's yeah. true. that's true. When yeah. it, especially like for instance, y'all know my job. I'm not gonna say the company name. Certain mm-hmm. people just got paid all this money. Now people on the other side, they getting chopped off and whatnot and laid off. So. You know, it's a catch twenty two. You know, ain't nothing secure because corporations gonna move in their, in their best interest. No and sure, no matter how long you've been there, no matter how, like you said, how hard you work, you know, you're you are expendable. They can pay yeah. somebody coming out of college half your salary to do the same thing you do. So that's my last. Facts. Thing. Hmm. Facts. I w- I would say um, going along that point, you just gotta look at everything from a business standpoint, and. Unfortunately, the way it's set up, employees are expenses. And whenever things get tight with a business, they always looking to cut expense. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why is the job security is no is like like he said, it's never no such thing as job security. But I do mm-hmm. want to shout out the people that work jobs. I'm team entrepreneur. I, I always say people should have uh, you know, even if you work a job, you should have your own little side business or whatever, just in case that job security runs out. You still got some form to, to make money to hold you over until you can find your next thing. But um, I I feel like we're getting into this point now where we starting to look down on people because they got jobs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's, that's and, that and, generation shit. Yeah, that's and and that and that that's kind of like how I was feeling with uh, when that guy was talking about uh, in that video with jobs. I agree with him, and like I said, I'm seeing entrepreneur, but. Also, I respect people that go out here and make an honest living. Fact, you know, man. they get up every single day, they go out here, pave our roads, they go uh, take care of our, our family members uh, in the hospitals and all these essential jobs and whatever job you're doing. The fact you being productive to society, congratulations to you. So I, I want to make sure I, I reiterate, like, having a job is not a bad thing. It's oh, just... Yeah, yeah, but we also... You should always be looking to find some way to elevate, whether it's within that job or whether it's within, you know, starting your own business and, you know, figuring out your purpose and everything like that. 